It's my view that there is absolutely no evidence that Arthur Fleck suffers from multiple personality disorder or that he ever behaved in the role of Joker as a separate personality, dissociated from himself. Doctor, in your opinion, concerning the work you did on this case, do you believe Mr. Fleck suffers from a mental disease or defect? No. In my opinion, he's not psychotic or unable to test reality. I think he was sane when he committed these crimes. In fact, I believe he fakes his mental illness. Quiet. And if he's uh, faking it, as you say, then what is your opinion on the defendant's mental condition? I believe he has four relatively minor and quite common mental disorders that involve long-standing sadness, narcissistic self-centeredness, friendlessness, and indifference to the feelings of others. This is a very disturbed individual, but I can't give you any kind of psychiatric defense for him. Thank you, Dr. Liu. Nothing further, Your Honor. Your witness, Ms. Stewart. Thank you. Dr. Liu. Good morning. Good morning. How long did you interview Arthur Fleck for? Uh, about two hours. About two hours. It's actually 89 minutes. Tell me, how can you say for certain that Arthur isn't mentally ill? How can you be so sure after just 89 minutes that this joker isn't a distinctly separate and split personality from him, that that's not who he is? Well, I also reviewed all the test results, psychological tests neurological and medical tests. And in my view, it's just a performance. Did you read the records from the Department of Social Services that show that when Arthur was seven years old, they returned him to his abuser's home, his mother's home? I did, yes. And when you interviewed him for 89 minutes, did you ask him why social services didn't believe the horrific stories a seven-year-old boy told them about the physical and sexual abuse he suffered? No, I, I didn't ask him about that. Mm. So you want us to believe that after spending just 89 minutes with Arthur Flagg, and reading through his records and tests from the same government agencies that abandoned him. You want us to believe that you can say with absolute certainty that Arthur doesn't suffer from any serious mental illness? That he didn't need to retreat into fantasy and create another identity to protect that scared, vulnerable, seven-year-old boy from all the trauma and abuse he suffered and that that identity didn't come out again when he was attacked and tormented by three drunk bullies on the subway. <laughs>